think we have to continue as often as we can to share Brother Robert's um, insights into how to keep healthy at this time. I certainly um, commit to even walking on the spot at home um, to keep physically fit because nutrition and just keeping your immune system viable and up is very important. Uh, a part of the challenge, um, one of the challenges that I personally have is just how to cope with grief in this time. Um, and, I, and I actually put it in the chat on, on YouTube as well. I've been lost um, three family members during this time and not being able to be physically there at the funeral. Only one was I able to be physically there. The grief was deep for me. And, um, you know, we have to talk about these things. How, how are we coping? And I don't want to be too long, but just to say that the discussion must continue and that I personally um, gained a lot from the session tonight. Thank you and your team for this intervention. God bless you. Thank you, Sister Clover. We'll definitely be praying for you and your family members during this time. And I know that, as you rightly said, the discussion will continue. And so we'll always, you know, find other ways of dealing with, you know, the grief, the hurt, the loss as we as we support each other during this time. Does does anybody else have anything else to share? Good night, brothers and sisters. Good night. I, you know, it was it was a joy to see oh, Sister yes. Sister McQueen. I mean, you know, yeah, when this whole pandemic um, started, um, I was so concerned about our elders, and I was so depressed by the fact that you know when persons started dying and. We heard the age group, some persons as if it was it was okay for the elders to just pass and and it, it was no biggie and that affected me so much. And I felt so good to see Sister Mac tonight and you know, just listening to her, sharing how she felt and all of that, braving it, still going to church, even though she's advised to stay home. Um and we just need to just continue to pray for our elders tonight i must you know commend the team for doing such an awesome job it was a rich discussion um very informative um uh, robert spoke about the old exercise thing and i had to make a conscious decision of exercising um during this pandemic because if you don't if by the time you look you wake up the next morning and you can't go through your door because it's that serious um Terry, oh my God, Terry, when I, I don't want to take up much time, but when this thing started, I was so depressed. I sit down in the chair every day, I'm looking at the ceiling, I'm, I'm like, Lord, what does that mean? I start to remember some of my students who I would communicate with at, at school, and I start to wonder, you know, what is happening to them, how they are eating, because sometimes in the morning when I'm leaving, I would take up little stuff and care for their breakfast and so because I know they have some real challenges and I said God what is happening to these students how can I still assist them um not being able to come out and not being able to see them so I started to find a way to kind of get to them and we start mobilizing some teachers and they will find a way to get some stuff um guys this pandemic trust me it has it has taught me a lot I'm learning every day and it's just such a blessing to share with our brothers and sisters and to hear some of the struggles and we can call on each other for support. We can pray with each other. We can cry with each other. And I, I just want to say big up to the team tonight. It was very informative and rich. Okay, Liam, I'm finished. Thank you guys. Thank you, Sister Jackie. Thank you, Liam. Anybody else? Good night, everyone. Good night, good night. Good night. Um, just want to good night. say, oh, this initiative was very good in terms of putting this program together so persons can know that however they feel, they are not the only one having the experiences and feeling those ways. For the persons who participated that were willing to really expose and divulge um, how they truly felt. Um, so the presentation, presentations were awesome. I truly picked up from them how 
faith were truly displayed in most of those. Oh, God really came through due to the faith that persons have. The lady that went, made her marks, she walked, she, she, she came out of it trying to see how she can survive despite the setbacks. So I saw all of that and the various different coping mechanisms because persons have persevered over the months. They have been different in one way or the other through their creative minds and all of that. So I am truly blessed for that. For me, I just continue to trust God on a daily, minutely, hourly basis that um, despite all the challenges and setbacks, that I'm just truly trusting him that he will see me through. Thank you so much, Sister Michelle. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, just a couple more minutes in case there's anybody else to say anything. And um, I will hand over to our pastor. Going once. All right. Good night. Yes, 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 go ahead. Uh, yes, night everyone. Um, I'd like to just extend a big, big thank you to you, Sandrina, for what you did. You know, I think it's a it's a brilliant idea. It's a good initiative. Um, many people were blessed by what happened a while ago, and um, maybe if the good bishop allows, you might have a second. Um, video series coming all right so again i just want to come in you all right thank you very much thank you very much brother Robert. anybody else all right so we, we definitely want to hear from our pastor so i'm just going to you know introduce rev to you at this time i know just to as information for those of us who are on the zoom that we, it is a premiere. So you can always go back after we're done and look at it. Some people may have missed, you know, a couple of minutes before because it went right from the start. Um, but you will be able to see it. But I, I think right now what we need is the voice of our shepherd. Um, as a, above everything else that we've heard tonight, I know that the Lord has something that he also wants to just put as the icing on the cake for this evening. And so I'm just going to ask us to give our, our full attention to our pastor, Bishop, Ernie Nelson. Hi, hi, hi. What a powerful program we have been participating in. I am really moved, inspired by the ingenuity, the creativity, just this collaboration, the cooperation that has been displayed. And it says it very clearly that the Franklin Town Church is a church that is dynamic, a church that is powerful. And we are just amazed at the individual talents and how they are integrated to bring this kind of blessing to all of us who have been privileged to share in this amazing offering. And um, just, just right off the bat, we, we, I am more supportive and I'm happy that I Sister Sajid highlighted that, and um, we will always be indebted to a kind of, you know, extraordinary spirit that is just always emanating from her. So, I read up to her himself, you know, we, we are well behind, the, you know, the youth department and all the creative teams. We are really, really thankful at the church that we were blessed in this magnitude tonight. Um, one of the things that, that came through consistently was how persons, and, and I know that the, the, the moderator who was the interviewer asked that question to, to all the contributors, how, how they related COVID to their faith, how, how God, you know, what role God played in, in the stability of their faith. And they have all given us many sermons. They have, they have shared some profound nuggets truths that we really want to just lock away somewhere. Because it is it's so ironic that it is one of the things that suffering does. It strengthens us. It, it makes us 
more humble. I, I, I hear people just keep saying that he has drawn them closer to God. And, and then if God was, was listening, and we know that he is listening, I, I wonder how he's going to respond. So to draw us closer, he made us alone to find a little longer. But don't, don't be scared because God is such a loving God. One of the texts that stood out to me as a, as a younger Christian, I've been reading my Bible from a teenager. Um, in Hebrews, it tells us that Jesus, even though he was the Son of God, he learned obedience through the things that he suffered. It means that God, who is all loving, all knowing, all powerful, must have a, a pure purpose and must always have our best interest at heart even when we go through the most trying and difficult times. So, so let us interact a little bit, if, as, as briefly as we can. So I, I know that, that we, we have to relate to the human side, and we are going to hurt, we are going to feel fatigue, we are going to feel discouragement. And what we can appreciate about scripture is that scripture is very open, it is quite candid, so that as we read scripture, you, you will see these strong men, these, these very spiritual men coming under pressure. And, and the Bible does not hide their reaction from us. Jesus did the epitome of, of, of such example in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yet God is, is there because Jesus would have had to go through that so that he could be qualified to be accurately described as one who is touched by the feelings of our infirmities. So here. Here, here, here's a little question. How, how do we deal with it in our humanity? Because ultimately, we, we, we find that God is somewhat disappointed or God is getting somewhat upset when the people of Israel found themselves complaining. Yes, so that we are going to have to find a way to have commentary how we communicate concerning the challenges, the, the obstacles that we are faced with without breaching that which displeases God. Because God does not like complaining. In, in fact, um, one of my favorite New Testament parallels would, would come out of uh, Philippians chapter 2, where Paul says we should do everything without murmuring and complaining. So that it, 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 it is quite normal and natural to, to seek sympathy, yes, in, 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 our, in our suffering. But what God really wants us to be courageous, notwithstanding, while we are in that position where we need to, to be sympathized with, God is also holding someone else accountable to, to, to demonstrate that sympathy. And, and, and you, you'll see that kind of a paradox because uh, he, he will say, I, I was hungry, he didn't feed me. Yes, and then he's going to reward those by saying, yes, I was hungry and you gave me food. So that, as, as Mr. Joan shared, and, and as Mr. Carol Wallerson shared, that in, in, in this crisis, you know, when, when they tell that Jesus and Jesus asked, so why are you continuing? Yes, because I, I have a, a spirit of, of, of courage, even though all indications are telling me I should stop. And, um, you know, listening to Brother Robert, he, not, he gave his disclaimer that he's not a nutritionist or a health professional, but he, his, his whole lifestyle and, and how he was able to integrate his practices and principles so that it came across in such plain ways. So, so, so that understand that we, we know that that crisis caused some to break while it allowed others to break records. Yes, so that we, we continually look for the opportunities even while obstacles are staring us in our faces. So, man, you, you listen to, to Sister Muriel McLean, and, and I'm so moved by her testimony. Yes, she, she, she's a young girl, you know, she, she, she said it close of the 90s than, <laughs> than, than, than you would imagine. Yes, and her, her birthday is like in, in this very season. So we celebrate with her, and we celebrate her, her confidence in God, and, and how she has emboldened us to just trust in the Lord and, and to, as she referred scripturally to, to what the people of Israel went through, knowing that God is not a play play, God is not a fear, fear God, so that when other people are being plagued and they are being punished, 
God has a delicate balance that he can preserve his people. And so she has inspired our faith. So we, we are really thankful. I, I hear Sister, I mean, Mother is a colleague, Sister Terry, and is a doctor. And, and uh, she's very close. You know, she, 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 she's really a professional at what she does. And she continues to study and to really empower herself and get that passion in the department in which she was questioned. And she's that kind of person who is just down to earth and very candy. So we are just so thankful for the people that God has, has placed in our congregation, the people that God has placed in our lives. And as we listen to them, they, they are the, the living epistles that the Lord would, would use to speak to us as they become the incarnation of that spiritual word that has blessed their life, blessed their spirit, and they are blessing us tonight. Now, I, 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 I know this is somewhat um, provocative, you know, but I, I'll confess the word of our that I struggle with the water thing. I, I have to change the taste of the water. So I don't know if there are any other strugglers out there. Yes, I don't want to talk about this, this icon who says that he, he doesn't drink water. It's because I really want to encourage the water to drink. I have to put in my water. I don't like sweets, so I have a problem with sugar content. But I know there are other persons who struggle with just drinking water. But water, we know for a time in the memorial, um, is, is, is just one of the essentials to life. So again, we just want to celebrate those who have really pulled this program together. And I, I just feel blessed. I, recently, I was sharing with somebody how God would have anointed and, and imparted, downloaded the skill set, the giftings in those young men whom he would call upon through Moses to, to construct the tabernacle. So even though they were no man, they were going through the wilderness wandering. They were not yet in the promised land, but even though they were in this dry, desolate place, yet God would still be there. They would experience his, his presence, his power. Yes, and, and he would just show up and show up. And he was demonstrating to them how he could show, you know, intricate details of beauty and excellence. So when we share our young adults, when we share both male and female, they are fully represented, communicating in such a commanding, clear way with conviction. It really impresses upon our hearts and it, it really tells us that we are heading in the right direction. Whatever God is doing in this season, we know that we are hard. Obviously, want to bring up the You know, she she's that LA guy in the scene, and um, you don't see her hear much from her as, as others sometimes. But she has been a most able assistant. In fact, a, a, a driving force in, in, in organizing many of the administrative tasks of the church. And I really want to make that public. We have to celebrate the gifted people in our midst. So tonight, listen, we continue to, to celebrate. I am I'm absolutely sure, even as I was moved, I, you know, I had tears of joy. I just, I just listened to the people and I'm like, wow, I, I, what, what a blessed past I am to have these, you know, people in my congregation. So yes, um, my, my joy is really full. And I, I trust God that even as you learn to, to listen to his voice and things become a, a little difficult and inconvenient, we know that, you know, they say hindsight is better than 2020 vision. So it is when we look at your spectrum and we look back, we realize that it was because he had promised. Cry if you must, you know, ball if you must. Because that's the human side. And God is not going to leave us. He's not going to condemn us for demonstrating our humanity. Paul did say it is in our weakness when we are most weak that we find God to be most strong. So that as we are exposed during these trying times, as we are exposed and, and we are stretched to, to, to think in, in, in certain areas that we would not normally think in, God, I believe, continues to show us through our special people, ordinary people doing extraordinary things, that we are no small church. We are an in 
international church. We are inner city church with international impact. So we, we thank God again for the youth department who is behind this, this, this evening's presentation of our media and, and, and uh, media ministry to be your sister Sanjina. What an amazing person you are. What an amazing job you have done. And we give it to God for you and all those who are so so we, we continue to encourage you to the, the body just to be powerful, to be as supportive as you can, because God really is guiding us through this. I, 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 I will pause here and I will ask us to just, you know, bring our hearts to this place where we can just confess to God that in spite of all that is happening, like Jeremiah, we know it is because of the Lord's mercies why we are not consumed. Yes, we, the, the, the world statistics have demonstrated that the, the million mark has already been passed in terms of those who have died from COVID. Um, you know, scores of, of other millions of persons have, have, have also been affected by this deadly disease. But may the blood of Jesus, may that eternal blood include us and the danger in Exodus as it has eternal efficacy. May that blood continue to hoover over us and to cover us. May that blood continue to consecrate us as it trains us in, in the confidence of God that while the adversary wants us to just hide behind uh, 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 our juniper tree, as it were, for, for Elijah or, 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 or even Jonah you know, go to his own human moment, God will show up and, and give us the strength of his spirit. Let us pause as we thank God tonight. It, 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 it is not humanly, you, you know, grasped quite easily, but the word of God does tell us to give thanks for everything. As he says, give thanks in everything. We will have to ask the Lord to teach us how to pray. But as we have listened to those who were interviewed and they shared from their hearts, they have poured into our hearts and all lives and pastors, and they have demonstrated how God has strengthened them and has drawn them closer to Him. Father, we thank you again as we have listened, we have witnessed your work, your word, your presence, your power. We have seen, O oh God, that you are true to your word, that you have been a provider, that you have been a present help in time of trouble. We have listened and we have been reminded. Our faith has been reinforced, even as it has been reiterated, O oh God, for emphasis that you are a reliable God. You are an on time of God. Lord, I hear Sister Joan witnessing the, 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 the Spirit telling her where to go and opening a door, oh God, right when the adversary would want to suggest otherwise that things are not going to work out. So Lord, what a God you are and what a blessing you have brought upon your children. As we listen and as we, we, we we congregate around our television, our, our laptops, our computer, our, you know, our, our tablets, our phones, whatever it is that we're able to use to connect in this way. We, we feel such a bonding, we feel such a fellowship, we feel such a connection, oh God. And the, the adversary is still trying to fathom, how is it that the kingdom is still rejoicing? How is it that people are still sharing? such powerful testimonies. How is it that people remain inspired and motivated to do more, to, to, to experience more? And so, God, we thank you that you are our Father, that you are our God. We thank you, Lord, that you are using these mediums, oh God, to, to bring encouragement, Lord, to bring solace, Lord, as the Oh, other young scholars are, are, are looking on, they are listening, and they are hearing what, what Terry is saying. Lord, and I'm sure that they are reminded as they are also inspired 
that you are a God who is not partial. What you have done for one, you will do for others. Oh God, we thank you for my birth. We thank you for his testimony, his lifestyle. He testified that he is a person of discipline. And, and even that, you know, who knows him about why who would have spoken, oh God, who is in this rigid regime and as, it, as it pertains to, to, to his diet. And so, Lord, we see human demonstration of excellence that, that is exemplary so that we can emulate. God Almighty, we cannot, you, you, you told us, by worrying, by considering, add another fear, O oh God, to our head. We cannot, by worrying on fretting, add a cubit, O oh God, to us to seek. But we thank you, Lord, that Sister Muriel McLean has lived, O oh God, over four Oh God, over eight decades, Lord God, and we thank you that she continues to demonstrate mobility and agility and enthusiasm. So, Lord God, that is an inspiration. So we declare longevity, we declare life, we declare healing. Oh God, we will declare over the entrepreneurs that you will continue to open doors. We declare, Lord God, to those who are going through so many challenges in your mind, in your spirit, Lord, having so many questions. Oh God, that there is somebody to whom they can go, somebody with, with, with whom they can share their, their, their concerns. And, and they will not criticize and judge like Job's friends. But Lord, they will just find that sense of, of, of comfort because somebody is able to identify with them as they go through, Lord, these trying times. So, Father, I thank you again that, that you are raising up ministers and you are multiplying ministry opportunities. And, Lord God, it is manifested in such a way that people are being blessed, people are moved to a higher dimension, a deeper degree of faith. And so, Lord God, I thank you tonight for just going through and across the airways and bringing such a blessing to your servants. We thank you and we, we, we can confess with confidence, Lord, that as we give, as we sow, as we share, you are the Lord of the harvest. Lord, nothing passes with your knowledge and your consciousness. So as we confess it, we declare, Lord, that your people are even more blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. As I listen to Sister Joan looking by the instruction, oh God, I've sent you into the camera. Oh God, what a, what a ministry. Hallelujah. A few weeks ago, a few months ago, they would not have imagined, oh God, taking on with this kind of ministry. But look at what you have done in such a short time. Eyes have not seen and ears have not heard. Oh God, that which you will yet do your children tonight. So I declare in the name of Jesus that all needs are met. I declare in the name of Jesus that barriers are broken. I declare in the name of Jesus that faith will surpass every fear. I declare in the name of Jesus that our bodies which are the temple of the Holy Spirit, oh God, carries vested interest from God himself. So we thank you for healing and strengthening and sustaining our bodies as you give us practical wisdom, oh God, to act in accordance to bringing the best strength and capacity, oh Lord God, to exert the ministry and to be a blessing to others. So we thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Oh Lord, we thank you. And we give you praise, honor, and glory because you are most deserving. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for doing the supernatural, exceeding abundantly, above and beyond what we are able to ask, think, or even imagine. We thank you now in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I, I, I don't know, you know, if, if I'm... I, I'll still default to, to Sister Sanji and she's so good at this. Um, maybe may just, just another three to five minutes for anybody who just wants to give a, a praise break. You know, people always have a testimony of, of what God has done, what they know he is doing, or, or maybe somebody um, wants to be bold enough to tell us what you want God to do in and through you. I just shared with some ministerial colleagues uh, 
um, about 24 hours ago that I've learned that unless it has to do with personal privacy, there's, there's very little you can hide from the adversary. So might as well you just put your faith behind it and be clear with, with boldness and power. What is it that you are believing God to do for you, in you, and through you? Because if it is even your closest friend, the moment you, you whisper it out of your mouth, you, if there's a spirit, if there's an assigned devil who is trying to destroy you, and, and he will hear and he will, 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 will say, you will love what you have just said. So don't be fearful. Don't, don't, don't be timid. Be clear with authority. I, I am of the view that the devil can't read my mind or your mind. But once he believes your mind and, and gets into your you know, speaking, then he can hear. But be bold and, and declare if you may, if you, if you so desire, as we bring this awful night to, to a close. Andrina? Thank you so much, Rev. Yeah. And I know that... I hope you can hear me, by the way. <laughs> I know that um, yes, 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 yeah. persons are shaping up to share their testimony. And while they get that in, I just have to tell everybody what is going to be happening next week, Wednesday. Isn't it awesome that we already know what the plans are right, Rev, for next week, Wednesday? Yes, no, of course. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so if you could just turn your attention to the screen. Um, if we want to take it that some of us were the un unofficial opinions, then um, except for Rev and, and Dr. Terry. Um, next week, we will have um, um, counseling psychologist Joan Pickney joining us. And we're just, you know, playing around with words and calling it our online group therapy session. And I'm sure that she will be able to answer much more of your questions. Um, and not just, you know, from her professional position, but she also serves the Lord. So I believe that we will be getting a nice rounded, um, rounded, um, rounded ways that we can really navigate this time. So I encourage everybody to invite somebody for next week, Wednesday, um, start by inviting them for Sunday coming <laughs> and then let's move it along to next week, Wednesday, and we will continue to support each other as we grow together in Christ. Now we're ready for all our testimonies. So just feel free to unmute your mic and go. It doesn't have to be a testimony. It can be what we call like a praise break. So you just unmute your mic and just give God a shout out. Just, just tell him thanks for something. Good night, everyone. This is Elette Barnett. I just, just want to greet you all this evening. I must congratulate the young the youth department on the wonderful um, topic and the things that they have done this year as I watch on YouTube, I, I was really impressed um, by our and feel proud of our young people and the position they have taken in this time. Many are current away, but we are going full force and forward in giving God praise in whatever way, trying to find out how others are coping in this time of pandemic. I must give God thanks that evening this time he has called me to ministry and I'm grateful just, just to know that he, he promises to be with us, whatever, wherever we go. And he has been with me. I am so grateful to him. I want to encourage us tonight just to continue to trust the Lord because the word of the Lord said that they that trust in the Lord shall be like Mount Zion, a mountain that cannot be removed but abide it forever. Continue to do the work you do, Bishop. Greetings to you and the family and each and every person on Zoom this evening. I just want to greet you all. God bless you. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of the night. Bye. Bless you, Minister. Bless you, bless you. Good night again, everyone. Sister Terian here. 
Um, I just want to thank God for good friends and families, you know, especially in time like these. Um, one of my, well, my best friend is on Zoom tonight. That's um, Samantha Puff Puff. Um, you know, she's no stranger to Franklin Town. So I want to thank God for her. I want to thank God for all the other lovely persons that he has placed in my life, especially in time like this. My family, my good friends, you know, those that I can always call upon because um, honestly, just like what I shared um, earlier, that in time like these, we need each other. You know, we can't suffer in silence. We need each other to, to um, have a shoulder to cry and a hand to hold, you know, someone just to tell you that there is tomorrow. The sun will come out and you have to just push through and continue to make it. So I'm just giving God thanks for these persons that he has placed in my life. Thank you, Rev, for coming to Franklin Town in a time like this as well, because I think that God strategically placed you here because he knew that this was going to happen and he need um, your expertise, your leadership style, quality to help the church navigate its way through this um, crisis, this dilemma, this pandemic, whatever we want to call it. So I'm just giving God thanks for good friends, for good family and for good leadership. Thank you. Bless, bless you, bless you, Terry, bless you. I wonder if I can Andy. call out. I see someone online who is not known to anybody else online. Maybe a few persons. It's like Christine. Are you online, Christine? I rather hope that it's coming through. No, I'm not coming through. Go, 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 ahead, go right ahead, Brother Thomas. You're on you. Uh, good evening, everyone. Um, I just want to thank God for his, his many, many blessings. Uh, I, remember, I remember a couple of Sundays ago when, when, when Rev declared that, and he said, you know, when, when, when we were singing the song, I know who God says I am, what he says I am, and where he says I'm at. And I, I, it, it registered in my spirit and I kept, I kept using it. And, and sometimes I didn't even, I wasn't even too sure what I was saying. But, but the Spirit of God say, kept saying to me, say it until you understand it. Say it until you believe it. Say it until it becomes your truth. And I kept on saying it. And even as I faced a very that a lot of persons said to me, you know, if I were you, I would give up. But God, God was just he was just my peace he was my shepherd he was my warrior when 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 i needed him he was my provider and at the end of the day the lord worked out everything and i think i remember saying to somebody over the period i have lost haste but i have not lost urgency god kept me going and and just like i said i know who i am I know where God says I am, and I know what God says I am, and he came through for me. So in, in this pandemic, it seems as if God is being especially careful for us. He's being especially strong and, and, and especially present for us. And I just want to give him thanks. I want to give him glory, give him honor, and give him praise. Yes, there's a pandemic, but I see so much growth in my, in my spiritual life. I see so much growth in my family. I see so much growth. In, 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 in my friends that I just know that we serve an awesome God. And I'm not ignoring the challenges. I'm just recognizing that my God is bigger than this. And if I can share anything with anybody this evening, no matter how dark it gets, resist the devil and he will flee. We can overcome him, no matter how challenging it is, by the blood of the Lamb, and the word of our testimony. What, what, what God has taken us through before, he can more than take us through again. I just want to big up God and, and, and you know, say thank you for all those who are praying for me. You know, as we continue to pray for each other, God bless you real good. You know, God is good. Take good care. Thank you, thank you, Brother Thomas.
Well, Rev, if I may, I just want to use the opportunity to just thank the five persons who opened, some of them opened their home and some of them opened their, their fridge and some of them just opened themselves virtually. But I want to bless the Lord for the June Plum Juice that Sister Joan gave me. I, I'm so glad I went to do the recording personally. Um, but seriously though, um, you know, Sister Mac, uh, Sister Kerry, Sister Terry, Brother Robert and Sister Joan, just really want to say thank you for being willing to share, just share yourselves, share your life with the hopes of, you know, of helping others. And we, we really appreciate it. Um, and I, I dropped the Joom Plum Juice in there just to say whenever we're doing the next, maybe some other persons will be willing to, to join the team so we can go touring together um, safely, of course, but being able yes, to yes, also, yes. <laughs> but being able to also <laughs> interact um, with our brethren. So thank you to those who, who shared their stories um, for this week and for the others, you know, we'll definitely be coming at you with our requests. It gets better and better and um, the more excited for it. Well, if there is no one else who would like to take the opportunity to give a, a shout out, we, we, we count it, what, five, four, three, two, one, and uh, we now will receive the benediction for this evening. Amen. It is such a delight to know that while all have sinned and have fallen short of God's glorious, excellent standard, it is He who is able through Jesus to present us faultless to meet the very standards that he has established. So God is not looking for a loophole to say, I got you, I caught you in there. But he's working his way. He's doing everything to ensure that we come through, to ensure that we rise again. The righteous fall several times, but the Lord keeps him up. So do not cast away your confidence in God because it has great recognition. So may God of heaven, the God who loves you, the God who has redeemed you through his son Jesus Christ, may he continue to bless you. May he continue to cause his face a favor of compassion to shine upon you. May he give you peace in this perplexing and painful time when others are perturbed. May you find the peace. May he bring pleasure in the midst of pain. He will guide you and he will continue to watch over you. The angels who are assigned to you, they do not go weary. And he who keeps Israel never slumbers, he never sleeps. God eternal bless you as he continually watches over you. We say amen and amen to his covenant towards us. God bless you. God bless you too, Rev.